Okay, so I got this cool little drone here to uh, review. Uh, there's an on switch on the bottom. And when you turn it on, it all lights up. The red lights are on the back. And it's got a simple little controller. And uh, you have to do that until the light, you basically, you push that button, turn it on, and this flashes. Then you go up, then down to get it to link to the drone once the drone is on. I'm not going to use it because I'm inside. And uh, I don't want to crash it into like the stove or something and damage it. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to use. And it goes really high up. We did get one chance to use it the other day. Uh, and I took it out and I flew it way up in the air, up over the trees and across the road. I didn't want to go very far with it because I didn't want it to just fall down near a neighbor's house or get shot by a neighbor. Because you never know. Um, I will eventually get a nice video of it out and being used. But we had like one day where we were able to go outside and play with it a little and check it out. And I didn't have my camera with me that day. And then since then it has alternated between snowing, raining, or so freaking windy that it's trying to blow our house away. So, yeah. Anyway, um, it's got a little camera on it. And you can put a little SD card in the back. So you can't watch the video as you're making it, but you just put a little SD card back there. Uh, it's not in there very firmly, the little chip that reads the card. So the first time I put the card in, I actually missed the slot where the card was supposed to go, and so we had to disassemble the camera to get the card out. So that's kind of an annoyance, but once we did that, we got everything positioned properly, and now you can easily get it in there, so. Um, yeah, and then it comes with a little controller here, which, let's see, it's been a while since I've done this. It has a roll, which you just push this, and when it's up high enough in the air, it'll just flop over, which is pretty cool to watch. 3 speed mode because it has different speeds but I didn't really mess with that much. You have to push this button which has a picture of a little helicopter on it to turn the blades on. This button turns it off. This button will also make it land. Um, here's a button to take a picture, record video. These are trim buttons and they don't really make any difference so far in my experience. I'm not entirely sure what trim is on a drone. I know on an airplane the trim is a little tab on the wing that you adjust to maintain level flight without having to hold the controls. So I assume there's a somewhat similar thing on this, but I don't know what or where it would be because this is more helicopter than airplane and I don't know helicopters, I know airplanes. Um, so you use this one to turn the thing and this one to drive the thing. And it does take, if you've never operated a drone it takes a little bit of effort to figure it out and get it to function properly this is my first drone ever um, it's not like a ridiculously high-end model but it's also not a cheap garbage one it's pretty sturdy um, I haven't crashed into anything other than a wall because I did try to fly it in the house and that didn't work out for me and I hit the wall but uh, beyond that it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it it did take a while. The instructions, it didn't come with instructions in the box. You have to go online and find the instructions. And it says to go to Maginon, or however you want to pronounce that, dot US, which um, doesn't exist. So what I did is I just typed in the model number of it on Google and searched it, and it took me to the product page. And so there I got the copy, the, the e-book version of the little... Oh my god, my brain's not working. Instructions. Manual. Whatever. And we went through that. And then we went out and gave it a shot, trying to play with it outside a little. Um, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. This is actually for my husband, because he wanted a drone, so we got him one. Um, I think this is a good like starter model, because it's really easy to control once you get it figured out. And it's not too expensive, so it's not like you know it, you're out a huge amount of money if you do crash it into a tree or something and harm it and the three speed mode it, it 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 slows down it doesn't actually like slow it down that I know of but it has this feature where it can't remember how they explained it in the book I'm sorry I'm running on like three days of not sleeping so 
Anyway, it's a fun little thing to operate. You can actually remove the camera and unplug it if you don't want it on there, but I don't know why you'd do that. So, yeah, it's kind of fun to play with. It auto lands when the battery is dead, um, which is nice so it doesn't crash from the sky. I assume all drones do that, but again, my first drone. So, yeah, we got this one for hubby so he could play with it and have fun. And at some point we'll probably upgrade to a fancier drone that will be useful or for doing stuff, like one that you can actually watch it while it's flying with the camera. Because this is kind of an annoyance to not be able to see what it's seeing. Especially on a farm, drones have a lot of practical use for scoping out fields and checking stuff out. But you can't do that if you can't see what's happening while it's doing it. Or at least not as well. So, yeah. All in all, it's a pretty awesome little drone. It's fun to play with. It's easy to operate. Uh, it terrifies the children right now, though. They're both just absolutely terrified of it. So, yeah, uh, most kids probably wouldn't be, but, and right now my baby is waking up, so I might have to go, but yeah, it's a pretty awesome little drone, and I will eventually get a video from the drone itself. Its camera quality is not great. I took some pictures with it, and it's just kind of blah. It actually records sound, too, so you hear the drone buzzing in the background if you get video. We got a short video clip, but that was of it landing in the grass so it didn't really accomplish much but it wobbles the whole time the video's like mm, so it should be on a camera on a gyroscope the camera should have a gyroscope so it stays level but all in all it's a nice starter drone for anyone that wants to get one and try it out